Hey there guys, let's check out how to create an image pipeline using, using the EC2 Image Builder console. So first off, we will need to log into this console and we click on Create Image Pipeline. First off, we will need to define a recipe for our pipeline. So then what is a recipe? A recipe specifies the list of ingredients required to build a custom image, such as a source image, the components to be installed and the tests to be run this uh, this recipe cannot be modified after being created so first off let us choose the image operating system let's go with amazon linux for an image to select an image we could either select manage images or enter a custom ami id let's go with managed images browse to select an image let's go search for an image of our choice we'll browse through the available images and we choose the one that we'd like i'll go with this one let's go choose now we could select it to be always built as the latest version or not for the build components we can either create a new build component or we go ahead and browse through the available build components as we can see, we also have a list of the available ones. So let's go with the first one and we click on choose. Now for the tests as well, we can go ahead and create a new test or we go and browse through the available tests of our choice. Let's go with the first one and we click on choose. Now let's go to the next step of this tutorial. We click on next. This will take us to the configuring page, which will help us enter the details required for the pipeline, such as the name. Let's enter tutorial pipe. For the description, we'd like to say testing. And let's choose an IM role for this pipe go with this fine ops test. We could either enable enhanced metadata collection or not. Now for the building schedule, you could either select the pipeline to work whenever you'd like it to by choosing manual. You could either select a schedule builder. Uh, this will enable you to set the date and time you require the pipeline to work. Or you can go ahead and click on C cron expression and select the values that you'd like. Let's stick with the manual for you to select it to run whenever you'd like. The infrastructure settings, they are optional. You could either supply them or not. For the instance type, you choose the type of instance that you'd like according to the memory and storage that you want. Now for the SNS topic, you choose the topic that you want. As we can see here, we have no available SNS topics because we have not yet created any. We can go ahead and click on create the new SNS topic to create them. Now for the VPC subnet and security groups and for the troubleshooting settings, they, are, they will be set as default for you in case you would not like to specify any specific ones. Now let's click on next. This will take us to additional settings that are optional. We can go ahead and supply whatever we'd like here. And then we click on the review page where we go over all of our information that we have supplied. And in case we'd like to make any alterations to a specific section, we click on the edit, edit button or we go to the previous pages. After filling all the required information in this process, we click on create pipeline and we will get our first EC2. Hey there everyone, let's learn how to create a recipe using our EC2 Image Builder console. So first off, let's log into our EC2 Image Builder and head straight to the dashboard. From there, we click on recipes, which will take us to a place that will list all the available recipes of our own. And since we have not yet created any recipe, there will be no available recipes first. So let's click on create recipe to start creating our first recipe. For the recipe details, as we can see, we should supply it with a unique name at first. The recipe name can consist of a maximum of 128 characters, letters, numbers, spaces, dashes, and hashtags. So let's go with a simple name as tutorial recipe. We choose the version of the recipe that we need as the format that is given. Let's go with 1.0.0. .0 .0. Now for the description, it will be optional for you to describe the type of recipe that you are creating right now. 
let's go with testing recipe for the source image we choose the Im the operating system for the image that we are creating right now it can be amazon linux it can be windows ubuntu sent operating system red hat or SUS linux let's go with windows now, for, the, for selecting the image of our choice, it can either be done by a managed image or by a custom AMI ID. Let's go with the managed images and browse through the available images right here. I'll choose the first one and we click on choose. Now, we can always choose to let it build as the latest version or not. Let's select this to keep it always up to date. For the build components, we can either go ahead and create new build component or browse through the available ones by clicking on Browse Build Components. As we can see, we'll get a list of the available build components. So let's choose one that suits us the most. Go with the first one and choose. For the tests as well, they can be either created, a new test can be created, or we browse through the available ones that are already found and the versions that are supported. So we go with the first one and click on choose. Now, after finishing and supplying all the required information and sections right here, we click on create recipe to get our first recipe created.